Hey guys, it's Abby Sharp here. We're gonna do a little what I eat in a day, carny food edition. So we're at the carnival, it's kind of a summer tradition for me. And you know, the carnival's kind of like Christmas on crack. It's like your once in a year time to try as many outrageous foods as the fair has to offer, and there's a lot of them. And you know, some people call this like the ultimate cheat day, but uh, I don't like that. I kind of take issue with that, that term, I don't like cheat days. Because that whole concept is like, when you allow yourself a cheat day, you're just setting yourself up for this kind of binge restrict cycle, where the second that you get your hands on what you've been craving all week, so you've been denying yourself, you know, a good balanced diet, you go hog wild. And then you restrict and restrain and feel deprived another week until that next cheat day comes along. It's not good, right? It doesn't feel good, and I don't like that. So having said that, you know, nobody goes to the carnival to eat salad. You really come to the carnival to experience all the fun, crazy carnival food that it has to offer. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm super excited about my first little taste here. This is a chimney stacks. It's like a donut cone filled with frozen yogurt and some bacon bits and maple syrup. I haven't had this at all, but I've been waiting all summer for it. So I'm really excited to dig in. All right. All right, expert carny tip. Sharing means caring. Honestly, I don't think I would want to eat an entire plate of anything that I've had today. Actually, some of it was quite gross, so definitely not. But I think it's more about tasting the kind of once per year silliness and the carny traditions than it is about making yourself feel uncomfortably full. Hey guys, I've been looking for this pulled pork and bacon top cinnamon bun all day. It smells pretty good, so we're gonna give it a try, as outrageous as it sounds. All right, so Tiny Tom's Donuts is like an institution. It is a must-have tradition every single time I'm here at the X every single year. So I'm really excited to dig in. So even though it is carny food day, it doesn't mean I need to completely shut out my body's signals and needs for what it wants. And after so much deep fried, pulled pork, sugar glazed foods, my body was screaming for some fruits and vegetables. So this is really the benefit of avoiding that cheat day mentality because it can be really easy to miss those signs and signals from your body when they're telling you, you know, this is how I actually want to be nourished right now. And that is okay. It might be a poutine one time and it might be a big beautiful bowl of salad greens. Just own it. All right guys, I'm so excited. I've been literally walking around all day trying to find this rainbow grilled cheese thing that I've got right behind me. So I'm so happy. I cannot wait to dig into this unicorn of a grilled cheese sandwich. Let's do it. Awesome day trying out all this fun carny food. And I'm feeling pretty good all considering. I, I think I walked a lot. I listened to my body when it said no more sugar si vous play, you know? I have a hunch that I'm gonna be craving a nice big bowl of salad greens for dinner tonight. Just just a thought. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways guys, I'd love to hear from you. Um, what are your thoughts on cheat day? Yay, nay, you know, do they work for you? Also, what kind of scenarios do you want to see me do for what I eat in a day? So leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen.